tell you what. I'd like somebody to name five other basketball players that are better than Drew Holiday at the entire game. The guy's an amazing player, both sides of the ball. I mean, you know, his scoring tonight was it was at another level, obviously. But defensively, I mean, he's – I said it before the game. I mean, he guards – he can guard anybody. And uh, so just a nod of respect to him. I <clears> – <throat> he's a guy that too often is just overlooked as like a truly, truly great player. So um, we made these guys work – for about three quarters of the game, made it tough on them, and then they just kind of broke it open. And um, you know, sometimes that happens. And you know, for the most part, I thought I thought we just kept competing and kept trying to do what we could. Um, you know, those guys, he and Giannis combined for what is that, thirty-four for forty-eight. You know, which is that's tough to overcome. Um, <clears throat> We certainly could have defended them better, um, but they were, you know, they were they were tremendous. So, uh, really liked about the first two and a half quarters, and then it then it got difficult, you know. So, uh, but a lot of a lot of good learning stuff for the young guys. I mean, Matherin is learning a lot about you know, playing as a starter in high level games and what that's all about. And I like his vibe. I like his approach. And I like the fact that he is a sponge for information right now, you know, before, during and after games. And that's that's how you got to be as a young player with with his kind of ability. So you talk about Drew, you have a lot of young guards on your own team. Is there anything about what he does so well that you'd like your younger players to maybe study or try to soak in themselves? I mean, just his professional approach is <clears throat> is old school. It's has nothing to do with social media. It's just it's just about love and respect for the game and competing at the highest possible level. I mean that's that's what the guy does. <clears throat> it's it's no frills, high level winning basketball, you know. It's, yeah, it's old school. It's it's really you know. Uh, he's just really special. You talked to him about your team defense after the last game today. What stood out to you on that end of the floor, and what are you hoping to see grow for your team on that end of these last five? Yeah, we'll look at it. I mean, you know, the the big challenge with Milwaukee um, is to play the two great players as much head up as you can, not turning those other guys loose for threes. And, you know, in the, in the game at Milwaukee that we won, <clears throat> did a really very good job of defending the three-point line, and our help was more on point than it was tonight. They split us too many times in double teams, uh, which created extra rotations and second-chance points. I mean... You know, the number of times that Lopez got caught the ball in there and just went up and we and won him, you know, that you know, that can't happen. And that's something that our, our, our young guys are gonna learn from. Um so you know, it's <clears throat> tough night. I mean, um I thought a lot of our guys, you know, competed well. We shot fifty almost fifty three percent, but they shot sixty two, so you know, that's no good. We've asked you about Drew at point guard a lot recently. 15 assists tonight, I think, is his career high. What did you like about the way he was distributing today? He just kept the pace going. You know, we, we needed to play fast. Uh, we know these guys are playing tomorrow. You know, we wanted to, you know, we wanted to make this as much of a track meet as possible. Um, and, you know, he, he did a great job of keeping the pace in the game for as, for as long as we could. And... Uh, and then they 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 popped it open with with you know with some big plays and a lot of it was second chance opportunities you know the one the one play where Holiday missed and had two tips and then finally tipped it in that's the only reason he missed three extra shots <laughs> I mean it's just ridiculous night he had 
you were talking about Ben earlier and the vibe that you like from him. And what are you seeing him sort of improve from game to game? What's, you know, obviously the numbers look a lot better, but like what are some kind of specific things that you've seen him just pick up and, and change and alter and, and adapt to in the last, you know, four games? Well, you know, I'm talking to him a lot about what this responsibility means and <clears throat> the fact that, you know, to be a really great two-way performer, you know, to be a guy like Drew Holiday or to be a guy like Giannis or to be a guy, you know, like Kobe or Jordan or the guys like that, you know, uh, LeBron, you know, um, it's just, you know, the, the, the level of commitment that you have to make to develop your strength, stamina, attitude, disposition, all those kinds of things. You have to do that. You have to be... <clears throat> have to be willing to be coached um, and those kinds of things. And, you know, I just – I saw a lot of good things tonight out of him. Just forget about the points. Just, you know, his alertness, his, you know, his his desire to share the ball and make the right simple play. And, uh, you know, five more games, we got to see – we got to see more and more of that from everybody. Would you like on both ends from from Aaron and from Jordan tonight? Obviously, I think Aaron was one of ten the other night, and you've talked about how good of a soldier he's been. He comes about tonight, five of five from three, twenty-two, and you know at least had to get that Giannis assignment. And what do you like about his play and about what you saw from Jordan Jordan against his whole team? Yeah, I mean, Aaron Neesmith is you know an, an unconditional hard playing guy, hard playing team guy, and he is what we're going to be about here. You know, that that kind of approach, that kind of personality, that kind of desire to sacrifice and just be totally about the team. You know, he's just he's a unique guy um, and he's got a lot of he's got a lot of areas to improve. He's still very, very young, um, you know, but I mean, he he stuck his body in there against Giannis. You know, he his. His shooting, his three-point shooting, his running it was one of the reasons we stayed really right even with these guys for a good portion of the game. And he's just got to continue to, to work on, you know, developing a, a game that is, you know, elegantly simple, you know, that just is, you know, you just, you just make the simple play all the time. He does that. I mean, he's going to be in the league, league a long time. You're in a stretch right now, Milwaukee, a great example where you're playing a lot of teams that are contenders with the type of stars that you've mentioned. For your group, as, as young as they are, is there added developmental benefit to playing teams, stars, players like this? Pat, where have you been? I've missed you, by the way. I, I you know, but, I, but I've been talking about this. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to sound redundant to the others that have been here, but yeah, that's that's one of the great things about this remaining six games you know now it's five but four out of the five are against teams that are really playing for something um you know oklahoma's right in there you know in the play-in picture in the west and you know new york is you know they're in a meaningful fight and and cleveland is you know same thing and and so um <clears throat> you know this is a good simulation of you know, high level, high level regular season basketball, and it, it it has, it has a playoff feel to it as well. You know, so um, that that helps helps guys like Neesmith, Wara, Isaiah, Smith, uh, Ben, Drew, you know, O'Shea. You know, we got we got other veteran guys that that have been around and know what that stuff's about. But you know, that's that's. Uh, that's a great thing. Rick, they had so many pain points and, and really played bully ball out there, it felt like. What's that, that I don't know if you're allowed to say that word. They imposed their will. Um, it, <laughs> to that point, what is that challenge like when you, when you guys kind of lack that physical toughness size to kind of match that power? Yeah, I, I mean, you just got to do your best, you know? Um, Fouls became an issue. <laughs> Both of our centers were, you know, a hangnail from fouling out. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, I'll, I'll look at the film, but 
the, the thing is, you know, you look at a high scoring game like this and, you know, this is where the NBA is going. You know, games are going to be high scoring and, you know, giving up 140 some points is never going to be a winning formula. Um, but there's going to be nights when you're going to have to score 130 to win, you know. Uh, and they're two guys going, whatever I said, 34 for 48 is the story of the game. You know, um, and so, you know, we'll, we'll look at that. You know, we're not <clears throat> we're not playing a team quite like this, you know, going down the stretch. We're going to have to deal with, you know, I, I don't know if Gilgis Alexander's going to play. He's missed a couple games. I don't, you know, but Donovan Mitchell, you know, we're going to be look, dealing with him. He had a boatload of points last night against Atlanta. I mean, he's, he's great, you know. Um, New York's got... You know, they got Randu who's had monster games and we're going to have to game plan for some great players and we're going to have to do better. Pretty simple. Gio, you got anything, man? If you're you're trying to get me to talk about the officials. <laughs> By the way, I, I'm, I'm, in a way, I'm kind of glad you brought that up. I want to congratulate Abby Carlisle on being accepted to the University of Virginia, and which is a, a momentous accomplishment. And I want to save all the money in her 529 college fund <laughs> for UVA. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abstain from that question. I know where you're going, man. You can't, you can't work me like that. You can't do it. You got another question? You sure? Yeah. We did a podcast before the game. You guys got to tune into it. What's it called? The Giovanni Show. The Giovanni Show. Isn't it the Giovanni podcast? Yeah, it's no, it's the Giovanni Show. I, another mistake might be. Okay. All right. Thanks for being here, bro. Thank you. Okay. I mean, obviously, you know, it starts with Giannis. Uh, you know, one of the best players in the world. Um you know, it's always tough, you know, playing him, playing a guy like him who's so different. You have to, you know, really lock into him. And, you know, once other guys get going, especially you have, you know, Drew come in here and have 50, you know, I mean, you know, it's going to be tough to, to beat them on a, on a, on a night like, like that, uh, regardless of team. You know, they really got going. And, you know, it's tough. You know, that's why they're, I think right now, the number one, maybe the number one team in the, in the league, I mean, they got going tonight. Uh, so yeah, they just played it again. Rick's talked about with you adding more responsibility on offense recently down the stretch. Have you felt that, and how do you feel like you responded to that added, you know, opportunity? Uh, no, I've definitely, you know, felt that. Um, I'm still trying to, you know, pick and, you know, choose my spots. Uh, still learning a lot, getting thrown into these situations. You know, like I said, stuff I'm not. Not used to, but you know he's he's given me the opportunity to grow, uh, learn, um, and my goal is just you know every game just to you know hopefully get better, uh, and you know, help the team in whatever way I can. I think between you, Ben, uh, and Aaron, you guys had close to like seventy points between the three of you. I mean, what um, just. Obviously, you guys haven't had too much of an opportunity to play together, the three of you. What do you think is just clicking between the three of you wings and obviously working with, with Andrew running the point? How do you think that's all sort of come together for you guys? Uh, you know, I think obviously it starts with, you know, Drew getting us in spots to, you know, score the ball. Same with TJ. Um, and then I think, you know, when it comes to, you know, Ben, you know, he's a talented scorer. Uh, Aaron, you know, he's going to knock down shots. He did that tonight uh, at a high level. Um, and then me, you know, I – would say I'm a scorer too. I think we all just, you know, we're starting to learn each other, you know, figure each other out more. Obviously, it's, we've only been with each other for so long. You know, obviously Aaron and Ben have been together the whole year, whereas I'm really the new guy. But, um, you know, I think, you know, moving forward, just I think that's a big part of, you know, where we're at right now, just learning together, growing together for, for the future. So hopefully, you know, we can just keep, keep getting better.
just to keep going on that, obviously the, the point right now is to get as many young, young, young guys as much minutes as possible. Uh, what kind of strategy do you think just, you just made from Monday to now? Um, just having a lot of the same lineups, you know, getting to play a little bit more. The offensive numbers are obviously a lot better from tonight than they were the other night. Um, how do you think you guys just improved and what did you just like about your collective effort tonight? Uh, I think it just comes with, you know, playing with each other more, uh, knowing where guys are going to be. Um, like I said, we have great, you know, guard play. Um, and, you know, Rick really getting us in spots, you know, he knows everybody, you know, he's a great coach and, you know, he gets people where they, where they need to, to be, uh, to, to do well, puts them in the right position. I want to go back to what you said before about Drew Holiday. Rick was just in here saying he thinks he's one of the most underappreciated players in the league as somebody who played with him, seen what he's capable of on both ends. Mace, do you agree with that? And, and you know, what particularly impressed you about what, what he did tonight? Yeah, I've been saying it for a long time. I think Drew is uh, the best two-way player, maybe in the, at least guard, maybe player in the league. Um, you know, he can score on offense, and he's one of the best – defenders I've ever seen. Uh, obviously, I was in practice with him a lot uh, over the past couple of years. Um, and, you know, well, you know, it might be surprising some people at 50. It doesn't really surprise me. Um, he's another guy who can get going. Uh, and you see it tonight. That's what makes, you know, Milwaukee so good. Uh, Drew's a special player. And uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Jordan, beyond being a three-way scorer, how, what else are you trying to – work on to show to experience kind of the rest of the way of the season? Uh, I think a big thing is, um, you know, continuing to grow on the defensive end. Uh, there's good moments, there's bad moments, but kind of, you know, hopefully down the stretch, like continuing to limit the bad moments. Um, and then for me, you know, I think I'm a guy who tonight wasn't great. I think I need to help out, out on the glass more. Um, and uh, that's really, really it for me. You've played a lot with Tyrese, now some with Andrew. What have you observed from him on a night where he has a career high in assists? Uh, you know, he's a he's a guard who, like I said, he gets people. He knows uh, what people are good at. Um, he he gives people to the ball in the right position to score. Uh, he always has his head up, always looking around. Um, he's definitely a pass first guard, which, you know, for guys like me, Ben, uh, like you said, Aaron, uh, you know, it helps us out a lot. Um, and he's like, he's going to be really good, you know, for the future. He's still learning, still growing. Um, but, yeah, he's he's a, he's definitely a great option, you know, at the, the one guard. He uh, scores from all levels. He knows how to use his body really well on both sides of the floor. Guards, everybody's best player. Um, yeah, he, he was really he's really talented and did, did a really good job, 51. Yeah, thanks. You guys you gave up 149. Rick was talking about team defense after the last game. Where do you feel like you guys need to make strides on that end of the floor as a unit? Um, I think we're just taking strides and being more connected, trusting each other, knowing that um, that when we, we make our rotations, we're going to be down on the backside. I think that's what we've been doing kind of better lately. So on the offensive end, obviously, you guys, you're getting more of an opportunity to play with some of these other guys, Ben, Jordan, Aaron, all that group together. And you know, tonight, obviously, I think you guys shot 40, 53% from the field, got a lot of points out there. Just what did you like about how the offense went tonight and, and maybe how much more connectivity you had between from tonight, from Wednesday, or from Monday? I think the best thing we did today was just push the pace on a team that has a lot of vets that don't really probably want to run and play as fast as, as we do all, all, all game. Um, and we, we got a lot of good stuff in transition, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, so I think that was the best part of our, our game. And then we were just we were just playing kind of free bats. We weren't really running too many plays, just trying to play off of each other, um, read each other's kind of movements out there on the court. What's uh, just, you know, what impression about Ben tonight? It seems like he's kind of uh, built a, on a couple of pretty good performances after a couple of rough ones. What has impressed you, especially each of the last two games, but tonight in particular? Yeah, I think uh, I think for like guys like me and him and rookies, like the game, as as the season goes on, it continues to slow down. You understand the spacing, you understand when you can kind of attack, when you can get just get to your spot and shoot over top or whatever it is. Um, I think he's, he's getting to the point where he just he's feeling more comfortable slowing down. Um, his lens is clear. Yeah. What was that physicality like throughout the game, just trying to go against it? And felt like you were probably always in the way almost. Mm -hmm. Yes, physicality is tough, especially in the league. Uh, the offense has a lot of the kind of 
first to every spot on the court. So it's kind of tough to stay in front of guys that are so downhill like Giannis and Drew Hill. I mean, Drew, Drew Holiday. So um, just trying to do our best job as, as a team to kind of show a crowd um, and, and fly around when, when, they, when, they, when we do double them and stuff like that. Have you gotten any time to talk with Drew uh, about his game, about what he does, about what's successful yet? I haven't got to really talk to him much, but I remember the first game we played, um, we just kind of, I think we kind of both respect each other's games, kind of similar in a sense. Um, and um, I would love to talk to him in the summer and maybe I catch him out somewhere, um, work out with him or something, anything. Get, take pieces from his game for sure though. Um, you know, I feel like we did a good job really, you know, leading up to like the third, uh, we kind of let it slip away. But, um, you know, they're a great team, obviously, the championship team, they got a lot better than guys. So when they get going downhill and they play connected, the whole game, you know, it's it's tough to sustain. You guys had a, a pretty good series, four game series against Milwaukee this year offensively, and you didn't have tie for any of them. Do you yeah. feel like those are kind of building blocks for what you guys can achieve here in the future? Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. You know, games like this, obviously, not the outcome we wanted, but it definitely gives confidence knowing that we could play the way that we play, um, play together. And you know, once we play at that, you know, once we get our superstars back and not all our guys, you know, we'll be, we'll be really good. Especially for the younger guys in this locker room, you're on a stretch of games right now where you're playing a lot of stars and a lot of teams with a lot to play for. Yeah. Do you feel like from a developmental standpoint that helps you grow? Yeah, I mean, you know, we got to know these games mean something. Um, we just, we know the other teams are playing for something, so we can't just let them, you know, walk all over us. We got to bring the fight to them. And every, every game, you know, we want to go out there and just play the right way, you know, building for the future, building for better habits. Um, so it doesn't matter what game it is, could be game 82, and um, we just got to play like, you know, we want to make it or we want to do something um, and just play together. What would you like to see improve here for Friday night's game against Oklahoma City? Um, you know, just keep the same intensity, keep the same fight, um, but just playing a full four quarters of basketball like that.